Hi, and welcome to Roswell United Methodist Church. My name is Michael Cromwell, and I have the joy of serving as one of the associate pastors here at RUMC. Thanks for joining us for our on-demand version of the sermon, which will be delivered later today. If you'd like to watch our services live, you can do so via our live stream at 9 o'clock and 11.15. Notice our different worship times and our different hours that we have now. You'll also be able to see the entire worship service service on demand later this afternoon at rumc.com slash sermons. We are so glad that you are with us today. We're thankful for your presence and we're thankful for your generosity and the different ways that you are helping to make RUMC a place of community and faith. Let's have a word of prayer before we hear our sermon. Gracious and loving God, we love you so much and we are grateful for this day and this day that we have to worship you. May the words that we are to hear, may they not only pierce our ears, but pierce our hearts as well, that we might be changed in different people because of what you have to say to us today. We thank you and we love you all in Christ's name we pray, amen. Now let's hear our sermon from today. Good morning. My name's Tom Davis. I'm senior pastor here at Roswell United Methodist Church. It's a great day in the life of the church. We'll be confirming 39 young people. Confirmation, it just means to make firm, to make firm the faith. That, that, that grace that God's already put in them, and, and they'll make firm the faith, the response to that grace that God's already given. And that's what we celebrate this morning. There are four foundational searches in life, individuality, community, meaning, and hope. Individuality, that, that we're all on a, a, a basic life search to find out who we are as individuals. What's unique about us? What is it that's, that's set aside and different? All of us are on a basic life search for community. Not just who we are, but how do we fit in, yes, to, to our own family, but into the larger whole. It's a basic life search. We were made to be a part of, of one another. But it's not just who we are as individuals and who we are as a community. We're also on a foundational search for meaning, that how will my life count? Will it just be about serving myself or how will it count toward God? But God's the one that made us, and there's a connection there to, to bring a, a purpose out of life. Foundational searches are individuality, community, meaning, and then hope. How do we point to something beyond ourselves, and how do we draw others in that hope? of something beyond ourselves. That it's on the cross that Jesus gave his life for you and for me. And as individuals, he forgave. He wiped away all those things that would destroy us. Knowing our identity in Christ, knowing who we are in community, getting a sense of our identity in, in, in meaning and in hope, this is what Jesus says in John chapter 15. He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Who are we as individuals? We're branches. We're branches. Each one called to produce fruit fruit for Jesus Christ. And as individuals, he, he wiped away all those things that would cause us to stumble, to fall. All those things that sometimes that we know there's a distance between the way we act and the way we, we want to act. And on the cross, he forgave us. But he didn't say, for, you're forgiven, go and, and do the best you can. No, he rose from the grave to live his life through us. And what Jesus says here, he says, I am the vine and you are the branches. 
It's the vine that that gives the strength, the power, the nourishment, the water, the oxygen to the branches. And he doesn't say you are the branch, you are the branches. That together, together we're more than we ever could be as individuals. The Bible calls us the body of Christ. They were connected one to another. Our identity in Christ, yes, we find out who, who we are as individuals, and in Christ we find out who we are in community. We also find our sense of purpose, the fruit, the fruit that Jesus has, has called us to bear as he lives his life through us. And in that, we point toward hope. That hope, yes, it is in eternity, but yes, it's also in the risen Christ that lives among you and me right now, this day. It's what we come to celebrate in this confirmation, to make firm the faith, our identity in Christ, that he lives his life through us as individuals, as a community. He gives us a sense of purpose and meaning And he points to himself beyond all of these that we might have hope. Hope. This morning, I'm thankful that you chose to to join us here for this confirmation. I'll be interviewing a couple of the confirmands just before we begin the confirmation service. Join with me in prayer. Let's pray. Jesus, this day it's yours, and we get to be a part of it. May we never take that for granted, but know our identity in you. We are the branches, and you are the vine. Did you live your life through us and in us? That we might produce fruit, not for ourselves, but for you. And have an eternal hope that starts in the here and now. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'm here this morning with Ellie and Eleanor, and they've been through 12 weeks of confirmation and been through the retreat. And um, Ellie, tell me a little bit. What did you like best about confirmation? I liked how I came closer to God, and hanging out with my friends is really fun. I also really liked the retreat. Yeah. What did you like most about the retreat? Um, I liked the bonfire was fun and the activities. They were like, I really liked the activities. Yeah. What helped you get closer to God in this? Um, just learning more about Him and learning my connection towards Him. Yeah. Do you have any of the lessons that you remember that you go, uh, you know, that's something I didn't know before or... Uh, um, I mean, a lot of it I didn't really know before. Yeah. So I can't really think of anything specific. Okay. Okay. How about you, Eleanor? Well, my favorite part was also the retreat. Mm-hmm. I, I like the scavenger hunt, and um, I also like the bonfire. Okay. Um, I like during confirmation I like learning about like how I like learning about how the parts of the house like justifying grace and sanctifying grace yeah. that's a really important image in understanding how God is working on us all the time and uh, that's kind of waking up to what God's already been doing and Confirmation, have you talked about, Ellie, as far as what confirmation means to you? Yeah, we did talk about that. Okay. Are you going to share any of that? Or how it's helped you get closer to, to Christ? Um, I learned how I could connect closer to Him mm-hmm. and ways I can learn more about Him in just my everyday life. Okay. And how about you, Eleanor? I, um, I like, the same as her, I like ta- learning how I can think about him in my everyday life. 
and how like he matters and how you can do the inside prayer and the outside and do like service and yeah and you all did a service project did you take part in it no okay this year i think usually we do and sometimes we aren't able to get that in and right after covid i think that was a little more difficult well tell me something um has it made any difference the way that you're gonna be at school well at school i do think about god Mm -hmm. and i yeah it doesn't really affect school that much Mm -hmm. but it does like i do think about him at school that's good that's very good and how about you ellie is has it made a difference in the way that you live your life from day to day i mean i handle things differently because Uh of it it's made me think of more ways to handle things in more appropriate ways. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I've asked other students is when you, you all studied uh, uh, or talked about Jesus as your Lord, and um, what does that mean to you? Um, to me, it means that he's always watching over us and yeah. that he's always there for us. How about you, Eleanor? Um... I like um, how he is always watching over us and how he's with us always. He's at church, at school, wherever you are. That's good. Well, is there anything else you'd like to to share today? Well, not that I can think of. How about you, Eleanor? No, I don't think so. Well, let's pray then. Jesus, we have a lot to be thankful for. And uh, Ellie and El- Eleanor, two of those people I'm very thankful for today, that this time, this practice of getting closer to you in confirmation class has been an important one for them. And it's important in the life of the church, too. Thank you for them and for their families. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. Um, Just a reminder, if you'd like to watch the entire worship service, you can do so via live stream at 9 o'clock and 11.15 a.m. You can also view the service on demand a little bit later this afternoon at rumc.com slash sermons. Also, if you have any prayer requests, we would love to hear about those. You can send those in to pray at rumc.com. Also, if you'd like to give of your tithes and your offerings, you can do that online as well. And that's at rumc.com slash giving. Uh, Thanks again for joining us today and for honoring God with your presence. We hope and pray that you have a wonderful week and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Hi. Thank you for joining us. My name's Tom Davis. I'm senior pastor here at Roswell United Methodist Church. Our mission here at RUMC is to help people live a Christ-centered life. We're a welcoming church, we're a biblical church, and we're a compassionate church. That we believe that the way that, that God made us, that he made us in his image. And what the Bible tells us is that his image is an us, is an our. When God said in the creation story, let us create humans in our image, he made us to be in community together. He made us to connect to him and one another. That's the place that this is at Roswell United Methodist Church, a place of community and faith. I want to invite you to join us. It might be online, it might be through social media, or it might be here in person. We meet at 9 o'clock in a contemporary service with a band. We also have two 1115 services. One is here in the sanctuary with a traditional choir and organ. We also meet at 1115 with a band in our chapel. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to meeting you.